folks. Today I got a lesson on Cripple Creek in the claw hammer banjo style. Uh, I'll be doing the basic melody first and then I'll show you a couple things you can do when you're speeding up the song uh, to add some embellishments and all that good stuff. Starting with the basic melody, we're in G standard tuning. That's G, D, G, B, D. And we got our claw going on. I like to always explain it as uh, you're kind of doing a hitchhiker's thumb or you're holding a water pistol kind of with your, your index finger stuck out a bit. Try to keep your um, other fingers not too t clenched tight but not flopping around loose too. Um, kind of like this. A little bit of an arched um, index finger and then a straight up thumb. I like to rest my thumb up on the uh, top drone string. And then make sure you're really comfortable do doing the bump ditty, going bump ditty, bump ditty. Index finger, make sure you can aim for all the strings. No drop thumb in this song, just the standard bump ditty. So make sure you're really accurate and really comfortable just doing the bump ditty. With the left hand, Pinky finger is going to go up to the 5th fret of the 1st string. We're going to do a bump ditty. Open. Open 2nd. Now we're going into a partial C chord. C chord like this. We're going to do a partial version. 1st finger, 1st fret of the 2nd string. 2nd finger, 2nd fret of the 1st string. We're going to go bump ditty. So 2nd to 1st. Open 1st. Open 2nd. We're going to slide our middle finger, 2nd fret to 4th fret on the 3rd string. I'm adding my 1st finger to the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. Diddy. Again. Pull off, 2nd fret to open 3rd string. Diddy. Open 4th, 2nd fret of the 4th, open 3rd. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Then you repeat that twice for the A section. Now for the B section of the song. We're continuing with that same sliding motion we did for the A section. Same thing. This is a D7 chord shape that we're sliding up. Back to the pull off. Slide up again. Open four. Again. Pull off. Ending phrase. Open four. 2nd fret on the 4th, open 3rd. Nice and slow, whole B section. 2, 3, 4. When you're doing that sliding motion, there's a couple tips that might help you. You can either slide your whole hand where your thumb following where your middle finger is going. The other way you can do it is you have your middle finger and your thumb kind of in the same spot and then you just move just the middle finger. So you see my thumb, I'm exaggerating it, but the thumb is staying on the back and you're doing more of a push out motion than a full slide. Try both. See what feels more comfortable. It's really easy to overshoot the slide, easy to undershoot the slide. Uh, the more practice you get with it, the better. And make sure you keep the pressure down on the slide the whole time or else the note might not come out. If you release the pressure too soon, the note doesn't come out. Keep that pressure down the whole time for a nice slide. So the basic melody is down now. When you start to speed up the song, the first thing that happens with me is I just naturally end up throwing in more drone strings. So instead of just doing the basic bump ditty, I might go bump ditty 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 and add more more uh, thumbs as I go along. For example, 
instead of just doing the basic, I'm naturally throwing in more thumbs. You can throw as many thumbs as you want in there or as little as you want in there. To me, there's no rule. It just use your ear and decide if you want it to be more prominent in the song or if you want it to be uh, less prominent in the song. One more thing you can try with the thumb is you don't always have to do the thumb at the same volume. You can have uh, some thumbs be uh, softer, some ones be louder. Oops. Experiment with doing soft thumbs in between uh, loud thumbs and that should help uh, fill some space in when you start moving quickly and it just kind of keeps your hand in the rhythm too I find. One more thing you might try when you're embellishing the song up and bringing it up to speed is you might try um, doing more hammer-ons, more slides, more pull-offs, all things that just kind of uh, spice up the song. For that first note you can do a slide from four to five you can go from one, uh, one, uh, two to five. You might try a hammer-on from two to five. When you're doing hammer-ons, if you're not comfortable with them yet, um, ideally you want to be comfortable with all your fingers doing hammer-ons. In this case, we have one of the harder ones, which is our first finger to our, our pinky finger. Pinky finger tends to be a little bit more uh, weaker, generally. You want to just slam that finger whatever note you're aiming for and you gotta go really hard and you have to commit to it. If you don't commit to it and it kinda goes soft, it's not gonna make a good sound. Slam it down. So you can go or sliding. Other than that, the, the techniques and the basic melody hold up when you're um, speeding up too. So those are a few things you can work on as you're learning Cripple Creek. Hopefully all these help you to create your own version and add this song to your banjo repertoire. Thanks for joining in, and I'll see you guys next time around.